navigation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. our outposts and an arc escape pod where did they get that doesn't matter they're not keeping it we need an up close scan Life support levels critical. Please seek safety. Life support is failing. No, man! 
Marcus escape pod? Where did they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We need an up-close scan. Life support is failing. Outposts and an ARC escape pod? Where did they get that? Crap. Do you think they might have found an ARC? We need an up close scan. Life support levels are critically low. Life support systems offline. outposts and an arc escape pod where did they get that doesn't matter they're not keeping it we need an up close scan
the party. Above normal radiation level. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. So the clouds parted, and these cat look pretty keeled over. Maybe us humans can pull our weight after all. Well, you can, clearly. But there's a lot to do before I'd be that smug about it. That almost sounds like a compliment. What do you say? Wanna help us do some good? You know what? I'm gonna ignore my duck cut and jo join up. This is like fight was a good. We do it again. again. Now before, before you, you go, go say you don't don't need to believe me. We do. That's what I said. Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. It is karma. Notice that. Radiation within safe levels. Life support is stable. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries.
What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Approach Romos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Watch out for everyone. But not you, right? You're genuine. job of Pathfinder. Until then, Tan's waiting on the Nexus.
ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop. Meaning, we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. I'm working with Vetra to track down prosthetic gel and those other items we discussed. You're too good to be talking. Nothing for me. Playing favorites, Lexi? What? 
No.
saw we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Why do you sort them that way? Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Drac can take care of himself. You'd think so. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Thanks for the insight. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. What can I do for you? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. It's so alien. 
a constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if the sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I... Daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someone's. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. 
talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. 
They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. We ask that you refrain from picking foliage in the Nexus Commons area. The consumption or sale of any plant specimens is strictly prohibited by hydroponic regulation. I asked. This is not what I signed up for. What a mess. It could be worse. It could be dead. isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? How... You think... My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, 
the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brekka. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. The director's had a rough time, stepping into a job he didn't ask for. I sympathize. Let's give him a chance. As I've said all along, the Pathfinder and I are of one mind. 
I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ket are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good targets. And we still need more outposts. They're, they're important to expanding the station. Though we are still doing the same thing, this gives you a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, yes, yes that's best. best. You have, you have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Med Bay. Will do. A reminder, you have AVP outstanding. Right. Have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. Any logistics updates are due within the hour.
personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. The security is on heightened alert. How many times have I told you this story? 343. Wait, what? You... Be keeping count? <laughs> Rushan, that's not funny. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. Later. A reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain in effect. Superintendent Magmore, I have some reports here that... <sighs> oh, sorry, comms breaking down. <sighs> Probably wiring. Try again later? As sleepers wait for stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood tissue. Broken arm doesn't lie. I told you she fell. Doc says that brings a tech. Firearm proficiency is up. Supply request is in. Half ammo today. Focus on melee. All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Security is on heightened alert. Scientists have few answers as the dark energy anomaly known as the Scourge limits travel and communication in the cluster. This is HNS. to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant to our father of the world. Dash had its match. Will you... Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Why well, there? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Patronus was intercepted by those damned exiles. 
Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. I wouldn't think that's even possible. You and me both, but Sam, well, I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. They're in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the medbay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? He's away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dad. He probably said, she'll live. I went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. Wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. That's fantastic. So many things could have gone wrong. Now I've got a reason to get out of this. You can't have all the fun. There's plenty of hard work, too. It's what I signed up for. I should be helping you guys. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. Tell Dad to save some for me. There's a mountain out there and it's naming. It's mine. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, Ross. Thanks, Harry.
fallout from the recent uprising has security tightened across all sectors of the network. These power outages make no sense. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder design might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Sure glad I went to school for this. Thanks for nothing. Pathfinder. A violent illness related to his period by the Oh, Vetra was looking for you. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Picking up something. Probe away. Anomaly found. Thank you. 
We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on Collision this? is imminent. All stop, now! Cat chips. A dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. 
have to lay a hand. Open a comp. Oh, Jagalesto. Oh, Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. They've sent us an app point. Set us down. down. Yes. Ha, look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. This is what it's all about, right? New worlds, new aliens. Wish me luck. Thank you. Hey, how many goals? Nathan Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes, you crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey, Joel. I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden, protected. What do you want? We come with a spirit of cooperation, and to live in harmony. <laughs> We've heard that before. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance Headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. What does it want? If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket, and protect us. What's happening? We have a visitor. This isn't safe. We need to lock it up. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It better... Don't approach the crowd.
This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Kiket mercilessly abducted Angara often. We may never see our people again. Come this way. And Ephra is waiting. Wait, wait, that cat kidnapped you? Steal your people? There is resistance. I fight this name every day. We have everything we can. Is it a Christian? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Katara, be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this, this is one of the aliens from the Mimir's Gateway, a Pathfinder. Pathfinder? It's, it's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It, it wasn't meant that way. I, I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Rebrinted. Recent intelligence supports the claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you, the Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and Ella. She knows this vault. But now the cat have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshe would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't, but... I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely.
I'm here to assist you, Pathfinder. Ryder, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnapped the Gar. Their people disappeared without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight the Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault right record. Surprisingly on Wikipedia, our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Job. The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining set of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's... do this.
corridor. Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with John. Try not to scare him away, huh? Aya has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found god. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I take you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A geth construct. According to Aridana, the geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Anomaly on sensors.
Sending the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sightlines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big. Possibly hostile. Taking evasive action. Wait! I don't think his... Well, that's something you don't see back home.
Ryder, I will meet you at Darpalev. I thought I was beautiful. This blows it away. If there's a vault here and it's working, I wonder why it didn't show up on the map in EOS.